Esophageal cancer is a deadly disease. Unfortunately, most patients with metastatic disease die within a year. Um, there are a uh, few targeted therapies in esophageal cancer, and um, also uh, most patients don't get treatment after the second line of therapy. So the active cytotoxic drugs, platinum, 5-FU, taxanes, they have modest activity, but uh, we're really in search for more. It's really an unmet need. Um, pembrolizumab um, is a PD-1 inhibitor, as we all know, and we examined that in esophageal cancer, both squamous cell cancer and adenocarcinoma in the third line setting. We looked at patients who are both PD-L1 positive, PD-L1 negative, um, and we looked at the efficacy. We saw that there's modest efficacy, about 10% overall response rates. In the PD-L1 positive patient population, it was uh, 16% and 6% in the negative population. Um, squamous cell cancer seemed to respond more than adenocarcinoma, um, but even that was modest. Um, the, I think the most compelling thing about the data are that the responses are durable. Um, so patients who did benefit from immunotherapy, they you know, are alive 8, 10, 12 months, even longer. Um, and that's really life-changing. So um, you know, it, it contributes to the literature for the use of immunotherapy in GI cancers. I think that you know, unless you're microsatellite high or mismatch repair deficient, there's modest activity across the board for most tumors. Um, and you know, we hope that uh, we can learn more about which cancers specifically will respond better to um, benefit from these targeted agents.